Welcome back to another Power BI 3 minute tip. If you're liking these quick Power BI tutorials, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a scatter chart in Power BI. And it sounds pretty simple, but surprisingly it's a little unintuitive in Power BI. So let's get started. We're using the famous Iris data set. This is basically just a data set of these flower petal length and width, the sepal length and width, and the class of the flower. There are three different kinds of flowers. So let's go ahead and dive in by clicking on scatter chart. Let's make this really big. And let's bring in sepal width into the X, and uh, sorry, sepal length into the X, and sepal width into the Y axis. And immediately, that's maybe not what you were expecting to see. You're just seeing one dot instead of our data that has multiple different pairs of sepal length and sepal width and the class. You see that goes all the way down and you have 151 instances of these pairs, but it just looks like one point. That's because if you click on this arrow on the x-axis, you see that it is by default summing all of the values into one. As you can see that if you hover over this point, you get a sepal length of 876.5. So it's just a sum of everything. Or if you look at sepal width, it's also summing. So you can change this to average and average. And that now shows you an average of all the points. But that's still not exactly what you want to see. Um, so to get around this, there's a couple ways. Uh, Power BI just uh, implemented something where you can click this down arrow and click don't summarize for both of them and it shows you all your data points. This kind of looks like what we want, um, except there is one problem here which I just realized the other day. If you put in class in the legends pane, it doesn't work. And this might be a bug, but I'm not too sure why this doesn't work, but there is another way around this. We definitely want to be able to show this breakout by class. So the way we want to do that is instead um, we have to come over to our data or actually in edit queries and we're going to need to create a column that is a unique identifier for each one of these data points. An index column would work just fine. So if we can come to add column um, and we go to index column, it creates a new column called index and you can see that it's totally unique, 0 through 150. So that's great. Let's go ahead and go to home and close and apply. Now that we have our index column, we can throw that into the details pane and that will be able to identify each one of these points. But surprisingly, we need to go back to a summarization or how about if I don't, I'll show you what happens. You come to detail and it gives you this error because you can only use something in the details if your X axis and Y axis are summarized. So let's go ahead and get rid of index and we'll summarize the length to sum and summarize the width to sum. It will throw in index in the details. So now we get all of our data points. And this is kind of the original way that you were supposed to do it in Power BI before they added the don't summarize method. Uh, but the don't summarize method isn't going to work for us in this purpose. But once we do it this way, we are allowed to put in class in the legend well. So that's awesome. That's exactly what we want to see. Um, so yeah, uh, scatter charts in Power BI are a little bit tricky, especially if you don't know how to use them. Uh, but if you follow these techniques, I think you might save yourself a couple of headaches in the future. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next Power BI 3-minute tip.